bitch. That shit happened to me again, girl. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You can probably see the title of this motherfucking video. I don't know what the fuck it's going to be titled. Scariest night in the world. Scariest night fucking ever. I don't know, girl. But the shit happened to me yet again. Y'all know that I said that I wasn't even going to address this shit in this apartment anymore. But I can't help but talk about the shit. I've been fine for the last couple of months, couple of weeks, whatever. I haven't had any of these situations happen, happen to me so I've been perfectly fine now you guys remember I made an initial video about this a while back I didn't make it on this channel so a lot of you guys probably do not even know about it but I talked about some situationals that were occurring in this apartment to you know my knowledge it wasn't my motherfucking imagination the shit was really honestly and truly happening and I feel like the shit is honestly and truly starting to happen yet again now okay let me well let me start I'm not gonna say that shit is happening again I'm just gonna tell you what the fuck popped off last night now you guys know that I mentioned that um I, I used to have sleep paralysis a lot when I used to live in my very very first apartment um downtown in this little city right here that I'm living in now let me tell you a little bit about that apartment now that was an old ass building um it was in the heart of the historic district so it was a very, very, very old building. Come to find out, it was a building, a quote-unquote plantation house girl. And the motherfucking shit um, used to house goddamn slaves and all that shit. I, I don't know. That's, that, that's the room where people used to say. I don't really know if it really did. But if you guys have not seen that video, I encourage you to head back to my... I don't know how many videos ago, girl. A whole bunch of videos ago, I did a video about... Um, Paranormal, a point paranormal blog or some shit like that. I'll try to link it down in the description box for those of you that have not seen that video for you to go over and check it out so you can see exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. But um, last night, um, I was up working pretty late because I wanted to catch up on some of my hours because today, girl, I need to go and do me some shopping and um, Michael's and um, uh, what's that other fucking store that's having a sale? Uh, 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 uh. Simply Fashion, girl, they are going out of business simply fashion i don't know if you guys have a simply fashion in your area but we have a simply fashion fashion here and they are going out of business so i definitely got to go in there and check out and see what they have in store i need to see if i can find me some um some cute dresses and stuff for the summer girl but um last night like i said i was up working late because i wanted to catch up on me some hours and um if you guys don't know what sleep paralysis is i'm going to explain it to you a little bit and then you can go and do your own research on it out of shit I, I need to start this motherfucker all by saying the shit ain't funny I know kids probably gonna be watching these videos because it's you know it's a sleep paralysis video and a lot of kids suffer from sleep paralysis now there will be some profane language in this video because I'm like I, that's what I do I don't mean any harm if you are offended by profanity or any type of vulgar language I really do encourage you to go and watch another video that pertains to sleep paralysis. Don't continue to watch this video right here because I don't really need to hear nobody's opinions on the way that I'm talking and shit. You understand what I'm saying? So if you are offended by a certain type of language, go ahead and exit stage left and um, yeah, go and watch somebody else's video regarding sleep paralysis, okay? This is not the video for you. I will give you a couple of seconds. Okay, we ain't gonna... Hopefully, you, it don't take that long to click an X. But, um... If you guys don't know what sleep paralysis is, sleep paralysis is when you are laying down in the bed, sleep, or I don't, you ain't even got to be laying in the bed, sleep, girl, wherever, falling asleep, and you feel like your body is completely paralyzed. You're 50% awake from the way that I understand it. You're awake, and you cannot move. You can't say shit, nothing. I mean, you are aware of things that are going on around you, but you can't move. You can't say shit. You can't nothing. You're just going to lay there and just struggle. That's pretty much all you're going to be able to do when it comes to sleep paralysis. And, it's, and it is one of the most terrifying things that can ever happen to you in your entire life. I promise you. You can, you can Google sleep paralysis. You can look up videos on YouTube about sleep paralysis. It is one of the most scariest things that can ever happen to you in your entire life life I promise you now um th this this particular thing didn't happen last night but I used to have those types of sleep paralysis where it used to be um where you would see like dark figures all types of things like that but a lot of that is your subconscious is not something that is actually there to my knowledge you know what I'm saying I really don't honestly and truly know but to my knowledge it doesn't necessarily mean that whatever you're seeing is actually there it's your subconscious fucking with you 
But a lot of times people say spiritual warfare and all this other type of stuff. Girl, I really don't even know. But last night, the shit happened. And I, I can almost tell you when I know the shit is going to happen. Whenever I'm staying up late at night and um, I'm, I'm doing something, I'm trying to fall asleep really quickly. Because it was like 3 o'clock in the morning. I was like, you know what? I need to fall asleep. So, Because I had to get back up at 6 and start back working. So I was like, you know what? I need to go ahead. and Because I was watching YouTube videos and working all that shit at the same time. So I'm laying there and uh, I decided to put my phone down and try to go ahead and fall asleep. And I did. I tried to do it pretty quickly, close my eyes and all that shit. And when I did it, I think what happened was I wanted, I needed to get up to use the restroom. But when I did it, I was halfway asleep at the same time. And I, I, I tried to wake up at the same time, if that, if that makes any kind of sense. For those of you that have had sleep paralysis in the past, you may know exactly what I'm talking about. But I was low-key sleep, and I was trying to wake up at the same time to go and use the restroom. And I didn't wait. I didn't wake all the way up. So that's when the sleep paralysis occurred. But what freaked me the fuck out was when I was experiencing the sleep paralysis, when I was halfway paralyzed, girl, what happened was I could hear shit sound like it was running up and down. Y'all know I got stairs. It sounded like I could hear shit running up and down the stairs, down the hallway, all types of shit. And a lot of that shit is your subconscious. It's not anything that's actually occurring to my knowledge but the shit do fuck with your your psyche so I'm laying in the bed and all I can do now one thing that I have noticed when it comes to the sleep paralysis stuff the only thing that brings me out of my sleep paralysis I don't know about you is when I say um God bless you God bless you when I say Lord help me when I call the Lord's name is when I come out of my sleep paralysis like immediately um, so if anybody out there that's experienced sleep paralysis, you want to know how to fuck to get up out of it and all that type of stuff, call on the Lord's name, boo. And also, when I, when I first started experiencing this sleep paralysis thing, I told my mom about it because, girl, I was so freaking terrified. And if you guys don't know, I told you that, um, it, for me to move out of this apartment, it's a little over a thousand dollars, okay? A little over a thousand dollars, which is not a whole lot of money, but it's a lot for me to pay them to move out of the apartment, move into another apartment and have to pay you know the deposit and all that different stuff which is you know it's not horrible but it's not something that i was trying to do right then and there um so i only got like four more months left in this apartment like i said i haven't experienced this shit and i don't know how many months so i you know i've been i've been gucci for the last couple of months or whatever but last night the shit ended up occurring yet again so like I said I called on the, on the Lord's name and then I came out of the sleep paralysis but I'm not gonna lie I was so fucking scared I had to use the bathroom so bad family but the way my bedroom is set up um you got my bedroom and then there's the hallway and then the stairs go down this way I wanted to get up and use the restroom so bad but I was fucking I was terrified because of course when you come out of your sleep paralysis all you're thinking in the back of your head was what the fuck was that noise that I just heard and I heard footsteps running up and down the, the, the stairs and through the hallway. So naturally, I'm, I'm freaked the fuck out. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? But again, it was it's the psyche. But, you know, I laid there for a while contemplating whether I wanted to get the fuck up out of the fucking bed and use the bathroom, y'all. I'm laying there the whole time like this. As a book like a motherfucker, like just anticipating some motherfucking shit to step around that motherfucking corner. And I'm not even going to fucking lie to y'all. I know that they say you can't do shit to no goddamn ghosts, no hanks and all that type of shit, whatever they like to call it. But boo, we was going to fight last night. Boo. I, I was scared as fuck, but at the same time, I was girl, I was low-key pissed off because I was the sleep that I was about to get, it felt good. And then this bullshit had that curse. So I was going to, bitch, I was going to do all kinds of cursing last night. Uh, if I saw some shit, I was going to be like, you motherfucker. We, we was going to have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe last night, boo, because I was just that motherfucker pissed off. I was spinning the post. Um, a, a status on my Facebook page. I was like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I gotta pee. Okay, so I got up out of bed and I went to the bathroom and used the bathroom. Of course, I didn't see anything. I didn't hear anything else after that. I did end up falling back asleep. I didn't want to. I laid in the bed for a good 45 minutes to an hour before I ended up falling back asleep. I fell back asleep and it didn't happen again. But, girl, let me tell you. Like I said, I was so fucking low-key pissed off because I've been doing good in this apartment. I haven't seen anything. I haven't heard anything. I've been doing perfectly fine. And yesterday, the shit just so happened to occur yet a fucking again. Now, the first time that it happened, if you guys did not watch my previous video about sleep paralysis and all that shit, the very first time that it happened, you see something that they call a, um, what, what do they call that shit? Uh... I forgot what the hell they call it. It's, it's like a, 
it looks like something that is a black mask. That's that's what it looks like to you. It's not quote unquote there. It's it's like I said, it's your subconscious, your psyche that is fooling fooling around with you. But I saw all of that shit. You can hear everything. It sounds like things are getting closer to you and all that type of stuff. And the only thing, like I said, guys, the only thing that Bought me out of that shit was calling on the Lord's name. And um, let me, I almost forgot what I was about to say. But um, when it first started happening, like I said, I went to my mom and I was I, I was crying to my mom and everything the first time that it happened. Because I told you guys that the shit was happening almost every night when I first moved in here. And I think it had a lot to do with the fact that, you know, I wasn't really sleeping that well because I was in a new place. I wasn't really adjusted here. And, you know, they also say when you're fatigued that the shit happens as well. So I was thinking to myself, okay, maybe it's because I'm not really sleeping that well because, you know, I'm in, a, I'm in this new place. And plus, the juice man works at night, so I'm in here at night by myself. And, you know, it was just a whole lot of shit that was going on. I was, you know, in the process of unpacking. It was a whole lot going on when I first moved in here. And the shit was happening on a very, very frequent basis. And then, you know, after a couple of months after I prayed on and all that type of stuff, every single night I used to say, I used to recite the Lord's Prayer and um, go to sleep and it, it stopped happening after that and um, I've been perfectly fine ever since then and, and once it stopped happening I stopped reciting the Lord's Prayer and I think that's where I jacked up at but when I told my mom about it I was crying to her and everything she gave me this and I put this over this is a cross as you can see you guys know that yes I throw off a couple of bombs and all that stuff but when I tell you boo um, I love me some Jesus boo okay like I said he is not through with me yet yes I have a foul mouth but I love me some Jesus, boo. He, I, I know what he has done for me. I don't know what he did for you. Um, but you, I, I, like I keep telling y'all, try him just one time, boo. Try him just one time. He might not come right when you want him. But I promise you, he's going to be right on time. It hasn't been a time yet that I was in need of something. When I, I, I needed the Lord's help, whether it be, it, I don't care what it is. I might want him to come immediately. But when I tell you, he came right in the midst, right at the time that, What's the most convenient? So, like I said, just try them one time. But anyway, my mother gave me this cross, and she told me to sleep with it. Well, she didn't tell me to sleep with it. Let me take that back. She told me to put it over my door, over my bedroom door, when I first told her about that. And I got this cross from her, and I hung it right next to my door after it started happening in the beginning. And um, it hasn't happened since until last night. Now, I haven't, like I said, I haven't seen any of that. Um, that that shadow thing, whatever the hell it is, or anything like that. But um, or, or I don't even know what those fifth footsteps was. But like I said, nothing came. You know, I didn't see anything directly in my room. I know a lot of you guys are watching this. You like, what are you talking about? You probably thinking I'm crazy, but boom, I'm not crazy. Let me tell you that right now. I'm not crazy. This happens to a lot of people. Some of you guys that are watching this video probably have had sleep paralysis before. As a matter of fact. I watched this guy's video, um, Adrian, I cannot think of his name right now, but his name is Adrian, he's funny as hell, um, damn, what is his freaking name, I cannot think of his name, but anyway, his name is Adrian, he did a video recently saying that he had a sleep paralysis episode, um, and he was saying how it's one of the scariest things that you will ever want to experience in your entire life, and girl, when I tell you, if you have never experienced sleep paralysis before in your life, you don't want to, okay, because I promise you, you're going to feel like you are in hell <laughs> literally not physically in hell or anything like that but when just imagine being completely helpless okay feeling like you're completely helpless in a situation where you can't move you can't talk you can't do anything but you are aware of everything that's going on around you and you're seeing things that you can't explain what the hell they are you are hearing things that you can't explain what they are and at the, the the entire time a lot of times you are laying in the bed with your eyes closed sometimes you can't open them a lot of times you are sitting there with your eyes open and you can't close them you are just in a state of paralysis that's what it is you're you're paralyzed completely and you can't move and the only way to get out of this paralysis is to just Wait it out. That's pretty much all that you can do. Imagine that, girl. But like I said, that shit happened to me again last night, and I was just freaked the hell out. It didn't last very long. Like I said, it only lasted a couple of seconds. I, like I said, I, I fell asleep. 
really quickly, but I realized that I had to use the restroom. And as I was trying to wake up to use the restroom, I guess my brain wasn't fully awake yet. But I was awake, and my brain wasn't fully awake. So it, it, it just, girl, it was one of the scariest things ever in life. And um, I don't wish that on nobody. But um, shout out to my mama for giving me this right here, girl. Because um, when I called on the Lord's name, whatever, whether it was my subconscious or whether it was something that was actually going on for real, it uh, ceased to exist um, up and around up and through this piece. So shout out to my mama and shout out to Jesus, girl. I <laughs> got my Jesus piece, girl. Start wearing this around. Would, would it be silly to wear this around my neck even though it's big? Would it be silly? I think it'll be cute, girl. I think it'll be cute to wear Jesus around my neck, girl. Yes, I absolutely love this cross. I don't know about where you are in your state of or, or in your neck of the woods, but here in the great state of Alabama, whenever you have a, you know, funeral or, you know, somebody dies or whatever, the funeral home gives you one of these crosses right here. And I think this is my dad's cross or it might be my brother's cross. I don't exactly remember. Or my uncle's. I don't know. We have quite a few of these crosses. You know, my grandmother's, my uncle's, my dad's, my brother. So we have quite a few of these crosses in. Um, you know, you bless it. You say your prayers and all that good stuff. And I promise you, girl. I know a lot of people may not believe in this, but just try it. Just try it. Because like I said, whenever you call the Lord's name in the presence of the devil or any type of demonic entities, they're going to flee. What choice they got? <laughs> what choice they got but to flee, girl. So, shout out to my mama for this uh, cross right here. Um, but that's pretty much all that I had to come and tell you guys about. I was going to make another video. I don't even remember what the video was going to be about, girl. But I just had to come and um, talk about this shit right here because I was just... I was fucked up in, in, inside. And like I said, I haven't even been asleep, girl. It's freaking... Well, I did. I mean, let me stop lying. I did end up falling asleep because I stayed awake after that shit happened. After I went to use the bathroom because, like I said, I was, girl, I was so outdone that I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to get up and use the bathroom. If I see some shit, we going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe tonight. I mean, I was going to... Bitch, we was finna box. I didn't give a fuck what it was, okay? We going to box today, Mr. Um, whatever you are. We finna motherfucking box because I, number one, I gotta use the bathroom. You woke me up out of some delicious ass sleep. I ain't got time for this tonight. I don't have time for this bullshit too noise. So I don't know what the fuck I'm finna do in the next couple of days, girl. I'm probably gonna have to sleep through in a motherfucking day. I don't know, but I just hate. I hate feeling like this for real. I hate feeling like I am. I don't know. I hate feeling unsure in somewhere that I gotta lay my fucking head. If that makes any type of sense. But uh, like I said, the shit didn't happen anymore after I came out of that shit. But I'm almost pretty sure that I know exactly what the fuck happened. I fell asleep. And I was trying to wake up at the same time and use the restroom. And my brain wasn't fully awake. And my subconscious just got to going crazy. And that's when the sleep paralysis occurred. But I called on the name of the Lord, girl. Called on the name of the Lord. And um, whatever the fuck it was, flee, boo. <laughs> what choice did it have to, <laughs> but to go, boo? What choice did it have, girl, but to leave? I'm sorry, y'all. I know I'm repeating myself over and over, girl, but I just... Sometimes you just have to come and talk to people. You know, a lot of this shit I like to keep inside, but... You know, I can tell my mom and my dad and my... I mean, God, I said my mom and my dad. My dad is dead and gone, look, y'all. Lord have mercy. I can tell my mom, my sisters. I can talk to other people about it, but... I like to get online and express my feelings on YouTube because I know a lot of people in my personal life may not experience these things, but I know on the world worldwide web... There are people out there that are in different states, different countries that, you know, are can you know are going through the same thing that you're going through. So they can give their um, opinions and their thoughts and all that different type of stuff on the subject and, you know, share their experiences and all that good stuff. So I just wanted to come and make this video, but I'm going to go ahead and end it now because I feel like I'm rambling. And I know why I'm rambling because I'm tired. I haven't slept all night and I need to go and get me some sleep <sighs> since I'm not here by myself right now. And I, girl... I ain't, I ain't worried. I know a lot of y'all probably like thick chick. I know you scared and all this stuff. You need to get the hell up out of there. Yeah, I do need to get the hell up out of here because it's I, number one. This this motherfucker is raggedy. It's expensive and it's 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 only been hell on earth since I've been here. Okay, it's only been hell on earth since I've been in this apartment. So definitely, I know that I gotta get the fuck up out of him. But um, I, I'm I'm not scared or anything like that because I know who I have on my side. So I'm not scared in that sense. I'm just a little. I'm slightly annoyed and if you've ever dealt with it you would know exactly what I'm saying because like I said this is not anything that I would wish on anyone literally it's nothing that I would wish on anyone because it's not fun it's not cute 
It ain't none of that shit. A lot of people may think the shit is funny and maybe think we making the shit up. Trust me, let it happen to you one good time and you will understand and you will realize that this shit is not funny. It's not a game. It ain't none of that. But let me go ahead and end this goddamn video because I'm rambling. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. If you have ever experienced sleep paralysis, leave your thoughts and your comments down in the um, comment section down below. Leave your experiences. Do you experience sleep paralysis often? Is it something that happens once in a blue moon? Or have you never experienced sleep paralysis? Leave all that stuff down in the comment section below. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.